सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठी पति वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्तबिंद समीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सामयुक्त बिंदावन मनोहर वाछाकल्पतरुश्च कृपा सिंधु भविष्य पतितान पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकोतिचाल पंगुंगल हेतगिरी यत्तमह वंदे परमाधव बृंदावै तुलसीदेव पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरों चुनोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाश ने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदरुण ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदोहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरंजन तम शरण्यम वेत्ताहम पुनपालीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणरविंद जत्दपल्लवनखचंदमनीछटा विस्फुजीत किमी गोवधुष्वदर्शि पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कृपा कौश श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्री अद्वैतगदाधर शिवासदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष विश्वाबर द्विजर जुगधर्म पाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणाभतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तब पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंदि दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति तदा भावानुरूपे न सदा नरान गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनोंगमदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशुष्य वदने लक्ष्मीजसी यस्ते हृदय संवीत निशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 
जूयम निलोके बतभूरि भाग जेषा गृहान मुनयो विजंती जेषा गृहान बसती ति साक्षात गुरो पर ब्रह्म मानुष्यलिंग जूयम निलोके बतभूरि भाग जेषा गृहान मुनयो विजंती जेषा गृहान बसती ति साक्षात गुरो पर ब्रह्म मनुष्यलिंग गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभुपा परमांस जगत गुरु सहित है प्रीचिंग कैन बी डान बोथ वे वन इज नेगेटिव वे एंड अदर इज पॉजिटिव वे नेगेटिव प्रीचिंग इज वेरी फास्ट इन नेचर नेगेटिव प्रीचिंग सो फास्ट दैट यू कैन नॉट इमेजिन बट नेगेटिव प्रीचिंग ए वेरी फास्ट बट द रिजल्ट इज वेरी डेंजरस नॉट गुड बट पॉजिटिव पीचिंग फॉर पॉजिटिव फॉर पॉजिटिव पीचिंग इट विल टेक टाइम लॉन्ग टाइम पॉजिटिव पीचिंग हैज इज ग्रेट इफेक्ट इन टू आवर हार्ट यूजली नेगेटिव पीचिंग मीन्स नेगेटिव पीचिंग मीन्स दोज आर गोइंग नेगेटिव वे रॉन्ग वे एंड दिस वे पीचिंग कैन बी डन हाउ प्रोबा स्पीकिंग लाइक अगासुर Bakasur, Putana, they all Kangsa, they all went against Krishna. They wanted to fight and kill Krishna. Jara Sundar. This way, the name of Krishna was spread very much all around. They wanted to kill Krishna. They want. They want. They wanted to destroy Krishna. This way, preaching was big preaching, negative preaching. But positive preaching. done by all gopikas all brajavasis they are preaching outside people usually cannot understand but very slow procedure but has its big effect mane nice effect inside heart this way actually naraji mara speaking actually devotees they are preaching demon they cannot preach but still demon cannot preach but one kind of preaching this is negative way suppose something dangerous thing happening some bomb blast something that news can spread very quickly but one very good news one man has done some nice thing very will take time to spread when a dog going to bite a man this become a news when a dog going to bite a man that is not news but when a man going to die bite a bad dog then become a big news it appear in newspaper actually naraji maharaj speaking king you are lamenting but you are really lucky you all are lucky juyam niloke batabhuri bhaga so great luck you are lucky because all manirishis they are always coming to your room all big big manirishis always coming to your palace room mane building to you why because parak parakhileshwar parabrahma bhagwan sri krishna is there inside their house bhagwan sri krishna usually used to come and stay in with pancha pandav for different reason so all rishi muni is usually coming and going to meet him this way you are very lucky what is bhakti or what is not bhakti it is very impossible to understand with external vision i can give one example then come to the point actually one day sabari you heard the name of sabari a very low caste lady very low caste nobody can touch him so low caste but she is very pure nobody knows she is enjoying the kipa of that acharya i mean uh, that uh, gautami muni 
One day he is going to take water from pond. Water from pond, everything. Every day is taking. Then Muni receives, they become very angry. Why you touch this pond? Now it is useless for us. We cannot touch it. We are taking bath here, drinking. Why you touch this pond? Sabari become very afraid. But from then, then from then onward, that pond become very dirty. That pond become so dirty that bad smell coming. The Muni is speaking. You see, you touch that pond. That's why it becomes so dirty. They are chiding all. Sabari is what to do. Every day doing, but uh, today they saw and speaking all rubbish. Then one day, because Sabari have strong faith unto the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma, and Gurudev told, someday Ramchandra can come and bless you, take seva from you. With this hope, from very young age, I mean small age. Up to old age, she is waiting. Someday Ramchandra can come. Today or tomorrow, any day Ramchandra surely can come because what Gurudev told, it can never go in vain. So at the old age, when Savari got very old age, that time Ramchandra coming to that ashram, so many incidents, I am going to speak in short. So that time, Ramchandra coming and Sabari uh, keeping dry fruits, fruit. It is all, all dry food for Ramchandra to come. He is going to offer everything, Ramchandra speaking. Sabari, could you please uh, uh, bring one glass of water for me? Sabari looking at Ramchandra, looking at all Rishi Munis. Again they can chide. Then Ramchandra repeatedly, you go and take water for me, get water for me. Then Ramchandra giving an instruction and Sabari going step by step down and touching the water, meaning to take water. Then the, suddenly that the pond become very pure. So pure, meaning crystal water. Then all Rishimuni, they become very puzzled. So we told that by touching that pond, it become dirty. But now we find, because we have done some offense unto a lotus feet of Savari, we neglected her. That's why the pond was converted into a very. Now we see. So this way, it is really impossible to understand who is doing bhakti, who is not doing bhakti. Sometimes, we think we are doing big bhakti. What you are doing? What she is doing? But we are not looking inside our heart to see how much improvement we have done, not doing. At the time of Prabhupada, one incident I can speak. Srila Prabhupada was such a great, unique Acharya. Such Acharyas is rare. On this earth you cannot see. Not possible. So Prabhupada, at the time of Prabhupada, so many big, big sannyasis, they used to think they are big pracharo, big pracharo. They used to think big pracharo. So we are going to preach on behalf of Goryamat. We are bringing uh, so many people in our mart. So we have some importancy in our mart, Chaitanya mart. But Prabhupada understand what is there inside their heart. One day, one nice devotee, he is not going for preaching. He has education and qualification, not so high. He is doing his seva, whatever seva is ordered, he is always doing seva. One day, one sannyasi speaking heavily to that brahmachari, you useless. You are educated, you are not going for preaching nothing, you are useless. Then Prabhupada become very angry. Prabhupada could hear from library. Prabhupada coming out and like lion sighting, shouting. Like lion shouting. Who give you responsibility? 
Who give you responsibility to speak about him? Who give you responsibility to, to speak about him? I know what is there inside your heart and what is there inside that devotee. So this way, Bhopad used to chide. Sometime, big, big editor, writer, they used to leave Prabhupada and go away. Big, big editor, very number one. But still, Prabhupada not lamenting. Prabhupada not speaking, well, he is a Gauri editor, big seva he used to do, now he gone. Due to some aparad, due to some aparad, he gone to his home, leaving Prabhupada. But Prabhupada not lamenting. But some ordinary devotee, Washing utensil, clean, cleaning room, I mean, Natta Mandir, everything, or going to garden seva some. But Prabhupada, if cannot see for two, five hours, Prabhupada speaking, where is the Panchanan? His name is Panchan. I cannot see Panchanan, where he gone? So anxious. Whereas for externally big, big sadhus, Prabhupada not passing any remark. So, who is devotee, who is not very difficult to understand? In Brihad Bhagavatam Rito, Sanatana Goswami already told one sloka, by the help of which we can realize something. I mean, Prabhupada used to say, who is he who is developing tremendous attraction? He who is developing tremendous attraction for Harikatha Kirtan? Be sure he is making progress. Papa speaking. He who is doing, who is having tremendous, who is developing tremendous attraction for Harikatha Kirtan, then be sure he is making improvement in his Hari Bhajan. Same thing Sanatan Goswami Bhatt told Krishna Bhakti Sudha Pahanat Deho Dvaihi Ko Visrite Te Sam Pancho Bhotik Deho Pi. Satchidananda Rupada. Krishna Bhakti Sudha Pahanat Deho Dvaihi Ka Visrite Te Sam Pancho Bhotik Deho Pi Satchidananda Rupada. So Nathan Gustami wrote that in course of drinking Harikatha from heart, as if without Harikatha I can die, without prasadam and water I can live. Like Parikhid Maharaj told, Parikhit Mahaprabhu marathon, marathon, continue non stop Harikatha speak. Sukhdev Goswami wanted to test his, his tenacity. Maybe you are thirsty, you are hungry, because you take rest and go take rest. No. Then Sukhdev Goswami could realize that he is an authentic source, authentic personality. He can hear, he is hearing, hearing Harikatha. So he is the Acharya of hearing Bhakti. Savan Bhakti is the topmost Acharya of hearing. And speaking Harikatha, Sukhdev Goswami. Sukhdev Goswami is the topmost speaker. Topmost Acharya of all speakers. So Sanatana Goswami was speaking. You can uh, try to realize in course of hearing continuous Harikatha Kirtan. In course of hearing Harikatha Kirtan continuously, someday you can forget your body and body related things. Krishna Bhakti Sudha Pahanad, Deho Dohi Kavisriti. Te Sam for them, Te Sam Panchabhuti, externally you can find uh, body, their body, externally you can find their body is made up of five elements, five elements of nature. But still, a prakita sarir develop inside them. Te sam panchavotik dehopi satchidananda rupada. They are satchid anandamaya. Their body becomes similar like Bhagavan, a satchidananda vaya. Actually, your all atma originally satchidananda that can manifest in course of bhajan, that can manifest. That is the meaning. Not that from outside something new comes. Your sarup of Atma can manifest and then you can find all transcendental, all your looking, eating, sleeping, everything of Prakita. 
there is one sloka, Srila Rupa Goswami Pada already wrote, but I already explained maybe one year back during Gaur Purnima time. Khyantir abhyartha kalattam viraktir manasunnata asabandha samatkantha nama gane sadharuchi asakti stat gunakshane piti stat vasati sthale itvadayu anubhavaha suryate bhavankure jane. This slok is the complete definition, complete identity of a pure devotee. But for ordinary people it is very difficult to understand. Because they are looking everything by eyes, material eyes, ear, material intellect, that's why I Khyantir abhyartha kalatam. Khyantir mane anybody, yesterday I told you, can remember, mana, Bhagavan Sri Krishna teaching to Uddhav. Uddhav, oti badam sitik sheta nava maneta karhichi. If somebody is speaking all rubbish to you, don't become excited. Try to bear it. Mahaprabhu, whole life, everywhere, Leela. Since some, somebody is speaking wrong, somebody is speaking very rubbish, but still not Mahaprabhu, but very calm, very calm and quiet way. Not become excited. This way, Khyantir abhyartha kalatam means there is sufficient reason for you to become angry. Because somebody is dying all rubbish. But still you are not excited. Khyanti. By watching this material world is unstable. By watching this material world is really unstable. Nothing permanent. Bhakti Mino Thakur, Sankarajajyo wrote so many things. Time to time I can discuss, you can see. Bhakti Mino Thakur writing, Sankarajajyo, all big, big acharyas they are writing. All your body, all your power, all your money, all your position, all for only two days. Maybe after some time you can grow old. It is a must. It is a mal, unavoidable fact. I told na that Harikatha. This is the nature of everything. This is this is the nature of this material world, or anything, or anyone staying in the material world. First of all, can take bath. This is a must. These six things. First of all, you can take bath. You can take bath. Janmo. After that, Vriddhi, you can grow. Vriddhi. After that, you can have Parinam. Parinam. Everything, Apokkhoi, Parinam, everything. This is must. Anything in this material world or temporary. All for only two days. So, by watching this, one Vaishnava, become very Trinadopi Sunish Bhava. What is the symptom of Trinadopi Sunish Bhava? Somebody can think, Parambuja Keshav Goswami is speaking heavily. So there are no Trinadopi in Keshav Goswami. There are no Trinadopi in Santo Goswami. They are speaking very heavily. Huh? No Trinadopi. That is wrong Siddhanta. Prabhupada giving the actual symptom of Trinadopi. Nobody can speak at present. They like to hide. Their preaching is to hide the fact. All hide the fact. This is the preaching at present. So they are not going to speak because it is very dangerous for them because they, otherwise they cannot get honor, position, money. That's why naturally they are speaking this. So, Oba speaking, the real symptom, the actual symptom of Tinadabi is that. He is less interested about love, puja, patishta. Less in no smell of desire. And that's why they are bound to speak of the absolute truth, absolute way. Standing on absolute platform. Otherwise, if, I ex if someone expect 
Lap Puja Patishta surely he cannot speak absolute truth. They can think people cannot hear me. He go away. So better to speak, make some, uh, make some harmony, reconciliation with the bad and good. So Prabhupada many times used to say, so many times Prabhupada used to say, many times Prabhupada used to say that pure devotional practice in course of people, pure devotional. There is no reconciliation allowed in the way of pure devotional practice, in the way of pure devotion, there is no question of any reconciliation with bad. Something negative. Okay. It is happening so. What to do? Otherwise, how we can become Vaishnava? We can permit. Okay. But, Papa speaking, that those who are going to make some reconciliation, they are going to make a flat platform, they are going to make a flat platform on which I can also stand, that negative preacher also can stand. This way, in infinity pure, they can never get bhakti. Because reconciliation means, suppose, suppose you are reaching some place where all negative, negative thing, all negative, no devotion, the sahajya, maybe something, but to get pratishtha, Bhakti Mantra wrote in his article, name of the article is Pratishtha Sabarjan, to how to avoid, how to avoid Pratishtha Asa, wrote one. It is translated in English or not, I don't know. I already, uh, already our translated copy lying, but when I can publish, I don't know. So much busy. So, Pratishtha Sabarjan, Bhakti Mantra writing, Simply for very cheap patishtha, for very cheap patishtha, they are going to, they are going to come down to their level. They can give mala, honor. That's why. At present, everything going on. Everything such. So they think it is called actually bhakti. They try to prove it. They try to preach it. This is actually bhakti. But Prabhupada told, no, this is not bhakti. Those who are having no desire, smell of desire, for La Puja Pratishtha, he is actually a preacher. He has his right, he has his power to speak that absolute truth. Otherwise, nobody can speak. They can make some. So, Keshav Goswami Maharaj is 100% in line with Prabhupada. That's why he can speak about that. Parma Siddhar Goswami Maharaj is 100% in line with Prabhupada. That's why can speak absolutely. Santu Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Bhumatpuri Goswami You can never discover one single mistake in the writing of Srila Bhakti Bhumatpuri Goswami Never. Nobody. He is very humble here. Yeah. So this way, the definition, definition of humbleness is just you are having wrong conception. Speaking sweetly, expressing sweet behavior is not the symptom of a Vaishnava. Can be. I am not speaking, it is not. It is not the only symptom. It is not the only symptom that somebody is speaking very sweetly. This is not the symptom. This is not the symptom. Because this is their only instrument. This is their only instrument. They, 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 are, they are learning behavioral science. How to behave nicely. This is their line. They are not lying to another people to get popularity. Many such, not one, in material world, so Gani, Jogi, oh, so many, wayward devotees, Sahajiya Babaji, is getting big. One cricketer, recently, I am watching something, 25, 30 years back, 25 or 30 years back, or maybe more, one, suddenly, one Mayavadi, they, that Mayabadi, they are getting big popularity. I don't know why. All people running behind me, oh Maharaj, Daya Karo, big. But one of my godbrother, I don't like to name, one of my godbrother, he sometime 
went to Rishikesh. You heard the name of Rishikesh? Lakshman Jola, Rishikesh, Haridwar. Lakshman, yeah, Rishikesh, Haridwar. He sometimes used to stay in one ashram. That ashram is Mayavadi. Why he used to go, I don't know. Later on, it was discovered he is also Mayavadi. My God was, 100% he is Mayavadi. It was discovered. I don't like to name. My desire is to establish Siddhanta. He is speaking, Maharaj, I am staying in a, a small bhajan kutir. And one kutir, bhajan kutir, after that, that Mayavadi, who uh, was successful to achieve big popularity, he used to stay there. Sometime uh, he used to ask me uh, what to do, Baba, what to do, Akadoshi, how to observe these, so many things. But within short period, how he became so famous, we don't know. Maybe he was doing some chanting, some mantra. There is some mantra there. At present, they are doing chanting mantra. I know. Those who are doing, those who are doing tantra, mantra, I know. I specifically I can speak now. He is also knowing. One day, some in Mathura, some Martin just forcefully give some fruit in her. He is not going to take. He don't like to take. Well, no, you take. Forcefully take. After that, blood vomiting. This way they are getting your power, her power, and going to utilize it for their own purpose. Some special mantra they are by the help of you. Unnecessarily. There is no reason. There is no reason for why public giving protest, they don't know. Suddenly, he got big popularity. He don't know, no Shastra knowledge. Somehow he can read something and getting popular. Thousands of people attending function. Suddenly, he become involved in one lady case, woman case. He was sent into jail. Now still he is in jail. This is the condition. Why people doing this way? No idea. This way, people want to enjoy popularity. This way. So, Papa speaking, if you can see that there is no desire in the heart of, of that devotee, no pratishtasa, nothing. Only is serving Bhagavan without any self-interest. They are showing good behavior, nice smiling face, because this is the only instrument by the help of which they can gather love. That is the only instrument, no other thing. That is the only support. By the help of which they can like to prove that we are great devotees. Because we are speaking sweetly. This is the nature. I am not speaking that sweet speaking is not the symptom of Vaishnava. My Guru Mahaj also used to speak. But sometimes you are saying, Guru Mahaj become very angry. Guru Mahaj become very angry. Some writings, hundred years complete Guru Mahaj, where different magazine complete, going to compile. In the meantime, we receive one article for one famous, famous, not Vaishnava Pandit. He wanted to prove that he is a famous Pandit. Vaishnava, I cannot say. We had no, no seva he has done. His writing I received. I received there is Siddhanta Virat. Guru Ma is reading. This article you cannot publish. But whole world is going to honor him. Guru Ma is saying this article wrong. You cannot publish. Two Sanskrit Pandit. People speak Pandit, I don't think so, in Vrindavan. They wrote article, they sent to me. I received. After reading, I find Useless. Even, even one boy of 12 years or 10 years cannot write like this Ravis. I reject that article. I am not, not rejected. I wanted to rectify. I wanted to give them honor, not to reject. I thoroughly I check up that article and rewrite it. And I was bound to publish it. But they become so angry with you. Why you touch? You have any idea about the language? No, no, I have no idea. They are speaking all rubbish. 
Finally, when I say, this was already, uh, the, our Santogusema already, after my editing, Santogusema already gone through that article. Here one Maharaj staying. Here one, I don't like to name one Maharaj. Just this corner, we go at the bank of Ganga. Externally, he is M.A. When I wanted to rectify his article, uh, one, whenever he wanted to send article, he also threat, giving threat to me. When he is giving this article to me, he is giving, he is going to threat me. Be careful, don't touch this article. Be careful. Man, he want to prove there is a big educated man. I am a very small brahmachari, I have no idea. So don't touch my article, any word should not be changed because you are the editor. Who make you editor out drawing? You are foolish. I, yes. I don't become angry. So after that, I was bound. I, what I do? He's senior, very senior. He's chiding me this way. So I was in fix problem. Then I took this article straight away to Santo Goswami Maharaj. I make the new version after rectification and the old version as it is. And Santo, what for you are coming? And I have some reason, some seva. I like to speak an uh, uh, article and you will have to speak uh, what is wrong or right. Huh? Yes, you read. I am sitting and Santama is hearing. Ah, in course of hearing, in course of hearing, hey, this is wrong, this is wrong, stop it. I mean, what he wrote, strong. After the Maharaj, hear this Siddhanta, if I write this way, I, I already, hey, he is right, he is this way, I can publish. Then I, when I publish that article and magazine, the all men coming to attack me. I am a small man. They all get, why you change this way? Eh? You have done offense. Some group also, some days before, eh, threatening me. You can go to hell. Yes, I can go to hell because I am speaking absolute truth. That's why I can go to hell. Sure, you are right. And you are speaking all rubbish. That's why you got to go to heaven. I can go to hell. Because I am speaking absolute truth, he cannot cut the sin. He is only fighting and speaking all of it. I say, come on, you, you write something so that you can prove that you are right. That can. Say, Why you are speaking this way? This way? Writing. But they cannot prove that I am wrong. So this way all they come, coming, attack me. And after that, when I say, the Srila Santu Goswami has already gone through this article, they become, they bend their head and gone away. They gone away. This way, everybody likes to prove their own supremacy. If the world is like that. Here, everybody likes to suppress you, like to prove I am big. They like to enjoy you. This is the platform. So, Khyantir Abhyartha Kalattam, Khyanti means there is sufficient reason there is sufficient that you should become angry, but you are still you are maintaining patience. You don't know. People thinking those who are going growing patience, they are very weak. That's why they cannot speak. Not that. Those who are bearing everything, growing patience, their power is like fire. They very shortly, Bhagavan Sikhism speaking. Very shortly you can get so power, even demigods cannot do anything. If you have more forbearing than the blade of grass, you think those who are humble, surely they are fallen, that's why they are like servant. But this, they don't understand that the humble Vaishnavas, they are so power, like fire. In Shastra it is written, Banni Surjo Brahmani Bhyo. Banni, Banni mean? Banni mean fire. Banni mean fire. Banni Surjo Brahmani Bhyo. Tejiyan Vaishnava Sada. Mane, fire, you don't put hand, you can burn. Banni Surjo, sun god, so powerful sun god. In the month of in the March, April, so. If you go outside in Rajasthan, Rajasthan or Vrindavan, without knowing, you can grow sunstroke. 
in the summer season, so many people dying in summer sandstorm. They die. So, sun is very powerful, but Brahman is also powerful. Brahman is also powerful because chanting Gayatri, Brahma Gayatri. But among all of them, I mean, fire god, sun god, or all Brahmanas, Vaishnavas are more and more powerful like fire. Don't try to make any mistake. Don't try to play a game with Vaishnava. You can destroy your life. You can try. Simply you can destroy your life. All can go away. When you can leave your body empty hand. You will have to leave your body empty hand. If you do often. So, Khyantir Abhyakta Kalatam Virakti Ramana Sunnata. Virakti Mane Manus. For material things, you have no attachment. For all material things, nothing you have done. Virakti. You are only interested about Bhagavan, Bhagavad Katha, Kirtan, Ashabandho, always having some strong hope that today or tomorrow I can reach the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Surely. Kantir Abba to Kalatam Biraktir Manasunata Asavandho Asavandho always hope. Samutkanta always having some sweet anxiety. <laughs> sweet anxiety means uh, you are expecting. Maybe Bhagavan coming. No, 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 not yet coming. Like Dho Maharaj. Dho Maharaj doing bhajan. Maybe Bhagavan coming now. No, no, not yet coming. Again doing. Samut kantha man sam ut kantha. Samane sammak, very nice, sweet ut kantha. Mane desire inside. Bhagavan come, Bhagavan come, samut kantha. I expect, I expect Bhagavan to come. Namagane sadaruchi. Always and every time. Whenever, night time, two o'clock, Maharaj, start Harikatha. You can start Harikatha. Now say, hey, now two o'clock you are disturbing me. Not that. Always. Like Sukhdev Goswami told, Marathon Harikatha. Marathon Harikatha. I am not speaking any story. Marathon Harikatha. Day and night, continuously going on. It's like Asokti Stad Gunakshane. To hear Harikatha of Bhagavan, Asokti Stad Gunakshane. Very much interested to hear about Bhagavan. And Prithi Stadbasis, he liked to stay in Navadip Dham, Mayapur, or Sri Vrindavan, not with passionate mood. Somebody, somebody, very rich man, crores of rupees, they are going to buy one flat at the bank of Giriraj Maharaj Ki Jai. And they are sitting in the garden with their leg here and drinking tree and looking Giriraj Maharaj. Aha. They are looking at Giriraj, taking tree and coffee, very nice. They think, they think Giriraj is their servant. If you, if your eyes can see, if, if Giriraj Maharaj become an object of your darshan, then surely Giriraj Maharaj is your servant. All Vrindavan Dham. Oh, I can see, I have seen Gavardhan, I have seen Radha Kund, Sam Kund. Yes, he has seen. Radha Kumsa. Yesterday night, lakhs of people jostling, fighting with each other to take bath in Radha Kund. Night time. Because yesterday was, uh, uh, I mean, Radha Kund appeared. All my rich, rich people from Haryana, Punjab, Delhi, car queue, half Gobordhan, car queue. Police become mad to control, get control over the situation. Only for, they like to take bath. First of all, <coughs> this is the condition. This is the nature of dharma at present. So, asokti stad gunakshane, priti stad basisthi, like to stay in dharma, not with passionate mood, serving mood. If you stay in dharma with passionate mood, you can get negative result, you can fall down. This way, those all are the symptoms of your devotees. Now, 
Naraji Maharaj speaking to Yudhishthira Maharaj that Juyam ni loke batabhuri bhaga. You all are very lucky because all Rishi Muni always come to your home. Always come to your home. Always come to your home. Why coming? Because they think your home, is, is your, your house, your palace is one kind of pilgrimage, topmost pilgrimage. Why? Because Krishna, Krishna very often used to come and stay in their house with Panchapanda. They have loveful relationship. This way, all Munirishis, that's why they are coming. Yudhishthir Maharaj, if you think wrong way, that Yudhishthir Maharaj, why? He is a great devotee. Why he unnecessarily took trouble to arrange Rashtriya Yoga? But if you go through the, uh, you know, go through this total thorough incident, you can find Krishna is, Krishna is the main reason. Yudhishthir Maharaj never wanted to arrange Rashtriya Yoga. Rashtriya Yoga, who can do? He can do Rasuya Yoga, who can prove that he is the topmost in the world. He can do. So surely Jarasandha cannot, uh, surely Jarasandha, surely Jarasandha cannot accept it. Surely Jarasandha cannot accept it. Surely Shishupal cannot accept it. How they can accept? So naturally, Fighting is a must. And with this pretext, on this pretext, Krishna likes to destroy them. If there is no pretext, honestly, he can, cannot beat somebody. So this was the reason. So Rasuya Yoga, behind this, behind this Rasuya Yoga, that the Krishna is the main thing. Krishna wanted to arrange. Yudhishthira Maharaj never. Yudhishthira Maharaj never wanted to sit on the throne. Jesus was never. All by the desire of Krishna, he was bound to do. Like Pollad Maharaj, I don't like to see it in the. No, you will have to see. Dhruva speaking, Prabhu, I don't like to see it. No, you will have to see it. My order. So, why? So, because Bhagavan thinking, if one king, big king in the country, in a country, become very famous devotee, all other, those who are staying in the country, they can also follow king. That's why. So, one, like Pithu Maharaj, in his country, almost all of them used to do Harivajan. At the time of Prahlad Maharaj, almost all, they are bound to do. At the time of Dhruva Maharaj, always. This way, Bhagavan wanted to give them seva, they never wanted to sit in in throne. Anyway, this seva. Now our one Siddhanta Vichara I like to speak yesterday he told that why Naraji Maharaj speaking to Judishir Maharaj, Je Kenupu Payana Manaha Krishna Niveshwat. Somehow, somehow, anyway. You have to concentrate your mind onto a lotus feet of Krishna. What does it mean? What does it mean? Naraji Mahasri is somehow you will have to concentrate your mind onto a lotus feet of Krishna. Somehow mean? What do you mean? Then Kangsa, Shishupal, that way also. Naraji Mahasri, well, that way also. But we devotee cannot follow. What Naraji, wa Naraji wanted to say is a common platform where by standing where, somehow if you get in connection with Krishna, somehow if you can, if you, somehow if you are successful to get in connection with Krishna, anywhere you can get result, be it negative way, positive way. Preliminary, Naraji was speaking that way. Naraji was speaking. Same thing, same thing, Parik in front of Parikhid Mahara wanted to put question. Parikhid Mahara wanted to put question in front of Sukhdev Goswami. 
Parikrama answer, how is possible Krishna doing this? How possible with hundred crores or Gopika uh, as, uh, playing Dan Rasa Leela? Then Sukhdev was speaking, perhaps you forget. King, perhaps you forget. Just, uh, just I told some time before that those Shishupal, Dantabarko, their Susupal, Jusupal, Adi, Kangsa, they all got success by thinking the lotus feet of Krishna negative way. Enemy, 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 enemy. So when you are developing enmity, how to get, how to get revenge? Enemy. So, Narajima speaking, positive way, it is very difficult to concentrate your mind on the Lord of Krishna, very difficult, positive way. Whereas negative way, very easy. I am not speaking you that you can follow negative way. I am not speaking. Narajima speaking, you see, when they are going to think Krishna enemy, how to kill Krishna? Let me see. Always thinking. They are plotting something, they are thinking all the time. How to kill? So, their concentration is so high that when Kangsa is going to take bath in water, inside water is watching Krishna. Oh, he is going to take bath. Process, their water is not like ours. We can go and take bath. They are also, water already processed water. Some chandan, something, medicine, Ayurved. Yeah. Inside water, sir. Ay, Krishna. Become fear. Because already forecast there. Already forecast there. That boy can kill me someday. So he's fearing. In water looking, taking water, drinking water inside Krishna looking. In the in the palace, yes, you are laughing. In the palace, moving in the palace. Eh? This way, everywhere, you are watching Krishna. He become he become Tanmay in Bengali Sanskrit Tanmay. He become totally hypnotized. Totally thinking. He is not considering good prasada meeting. All is thinking Krishna. He can kill me. This way, due to their negative concentration, they are successful to attain Brahma path. Our Naraji Maharaj surely not speaking. You can follow that way. Naraji Maharaj speaking. King, you forget. Even negative way, the done, they got Brahma path. Also, those money rishis, here also topics can come. Those money rishis, in course of their thinking about Krishna, they are concentrating, no? In their life, someday they discover all their name, fame, their body, body releasing, they forget. They all forget. Only they are concentrating on the object of our meditation. Like, example I can give you, all rivers, you know, all rivers, we are going all rivers. All rivers ultimately going to ocean. Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, Kaveri, whatever river, all. Mississippi, whatever river you mean. Volga, all ultimately going to ocean. Similarly, Mani Rishi, his example is there, but a very uh, intricate matter. You can get confusion. Mani Rishi, they forget all their name, their identity, their body, body, everything, only as if all river going to enter into ocean and forget their respective identity, sarup, all they forget. Similarly, Rishimuni. But, almost same way, all gopikas, they are always thinking about Krishna. Follow. Always thinking. What to speak about gopikas? Nanda Baba, Yasudama, they are always thinking about it. They cannot forget. When Uddhavji Maharaj was sent to give teachings to them. It was one kind of, one kind of, you know, testing. 
one kind of testing. Actually, Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to send Uddhav inside Brajodham, Brajodham because so that Uddhav can understand what is called Brajoprem. Uddhav is, Uddhav is a nice devote, but he is from Mathura. He never been there in Bindavan Dham. He has no idea what kind of tremendous exclusive love those Bhajavasis have. So it is very practical. If I can send Uddhav, uh, Uddhav, you can teach them. They are crying actually, you see. But actually the motive is that I can send Uddhav and teach Uddhav by them. They can, Uddhav can get lesson by those Bhajavasis. So, could you please go to Vrindavan to give them uh, cons uh, to give consolation to them? Yes, I can go. He's going there. But, he gone mad by watching the mood of Nanda Baba, Yasoda Ma, all Brajabhasi. What? Even in dream I cannot mind. Uddhavji Maharaj giving a lesson. Why you are thinking that he, Krishna is your son? You see the way of teaching. Way of teaching. Uddhavji Maharaj teaching to Nanda Baba. Whereas our Krishna thinking Nanda Baba is my guru. Nanda Baba is my guru. And whereas Uddhav, adversity you see, but no, he is going to carry out the order of Krishna. And nothing to do. Krishna wants to make fool of him. He don't know. So this way, when going to see why you are why you are uh, suffering. Why not you think that Krishna is the Supreme Lord? Why you are thinking you are son, that's why you are feeling pain? Then Nanda Maharaj become very upset. Uddhav, I thought you were very intelligent. So long I was thinking you are very intelligent. You are going to make, teach me in such a way that I discover you are foolish, number one. So long I was thinking I am going to lose my son. But now you are thinking, I am losing Supreme Lord and Son both. You are teaching me. I cannot forget Krishna. You are going to teach me. Gopikas, Uddhavji Maharaj is going to teach them. Gopikas speaking, you are teaching us how to remember Krishna. But we want to know the way out so that we can forget Krishna. Because Krishna, his, his memory giving us pain. Is there any, any lesson you can give to us so that we can forget Krishna? It's very painful. You are teaching how to remember Krishna as Supreme Lord. So this way, if you are now, if now if you are in confusion that, okay, all uh, Rishi Munis, eh, they are also concentrated. Jat Pada Pallava Nisheva Tipta, this sloka. All Rishi Muni, they also forget their name, fame, identity. Oh, same thing with Gopikas. Same thing, they also forget. No, man. That is the point so long I am speaking to, so that you can understand not all same. Externally, it seems all same. Not same. Those Rishi Munis, they can attain Brahma path. They are concentrated in Brahma. They forget all their. Yad Brahma Niskala Manantam Asesha Bhutam Gavinda Mahadi Purusham Tamaham Bhaja. Yad Brahma Niskala Manantam Asesha Bhutam. Gavinda Bhagavan, his body effulgence is the form of Brahma, Brahma Jyoti, impersonal Brahma effulgence. Those Rishi Muni are going to attain that place. Whereas Gopikas, they can get that place. Externally all same symptom. Gopikas can get the heart of Krishna. Heart now they already achieved. Gate mean they already Krishna is defeated in front of. Krishna is totally defeated in front of them. They are love. Krishna is totally defeated in front of them, their love. So exclusive love. That's why Krishna was bound to say, na, no pare or no pare aham niravadda sanjujam vibudayu sapiva 
जामा आवाजन दुर्जन गृह श्रृंखला संविश्य तद्वत प्रतिजा तो साधन न पारे अहम न पारे अहम आई कैन नट पे यू व्हाट काइंड ऑफ लाभ व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सेवा व्हाट काइंड ऑफ लाभ व्हाट काइंड ऑफ एक्सक्लूसिव सेवा व्हाट यू हैव डन यू हैव गिवन टू मी I am ever, ever grateful. Infinite joy. I can never try. I cannot express. I can never express that kind of audacity to pay me to pay you back. Because Bhagwan already told in Gita, "Ye ya thamang prapadante tang stadiv." Who is doing? You are doing bhajan this way. Okay, I can pay you. I can pay you. So the Bhagwan Sri Krishna speaking. Bhagwan Sri Krishna speaking that he who is doing seva this way, I can pay him that way. Reciprocate, I can reciprocate his bhava. He is loving me, doing something. I can reciprocate my bhava. I can give you back. But in case of Gopikas, not possible. No pare aham. Niravad sanjuyam. Bibuda you saw people. It's not possible for me. So don't think that all same. There is diversified bhakti mood, diversified way of exchange of love with Krishna. So not all same. Bali Maharaj, Bali Maharaj surely having bhakti, surely. Balad Maharaj having bhakti. Jyotishir Maharaj having bhakti. Shankar Bhagwan Abhi, Hanumanji Maharaj having bhakti. All they are bhakti, no doubt in, but the way of their bhakti serving mood not all the same. The same life is different. So yesterday I told Ramen swardham mathuram praniti swafal kina mai anurakto bi mai anurakto chitta ha bigalo bhave na na me biyogo eh tibra adhayo anyam dadrishu sukhayo. In Bihad Bihad Bhagavad Gita, so many discussion done. Krishna from Mathura going to send big, you know, what is called not donation actually presentation, upahar, all different thing. But Krishna, Krishna having complete idea that if I am going to send them, they can find no utility. They don't want any donation or any presentation. They want me. They only want me. They only and only want me. So it is one kind of you know, one kind of you know, it's not good. It's not feeling bad, but still going to send some presentation. Or even they know Gopikas. They are at present lifeless. The body is there, but no life. So what they can do with good ornament or good cloth? What they are like street beggar, street beggar, without Krishna. Even your imagination, even even your even your imagination can cannot reach up to that far. But material idea cannot go. So. रामेन स्वार्धम मथुराम प्रणीते सफल किना मई अनुरक्त चित्ता हा बिगारो भावेन नौ में बियोगो तिब्रा आधायो अन्याम ददृशु सुखायो। When I was taken to when I together with our my elder brother बलराम बलदावजी महाराज when both of them were taken to Mathura by by Akrur Maharaj, by the instruction of Kangsa, by the instruction of Kangsa. In that case, due to tremendous separation, they become lifeless. They become lifeless. They, they don't like to live. Like to live. So tremendous that the earth can crack. Prithvi Bhumi can crack. When Sita Devi was tested repeatedly about her chastity, 
Finally, Sita Devi could not be here. Ramchandra's hundred percent faith, but due because that those people staying in the country, they say there is a doubt about the chastity of Sita, because she was in the custody of Ravan, as a very dangerous. Finally, when many times Sita appeared in testing, Ramchandra has no doubt, but to satisfy all those who are staying in country, they are speaking this way. Finally, when wanted to take test, then the art cracked down and Sita entering into crown. Raman. It is the last stage of Raman. So many things are there. Anyway, so Gopikas, their feeling of separation in infinity period, in infinity world, if, if anybody is going to search out, never can go. So any good thing, sunna itam jagata sarvam gavinda virahe name. What speaking? It is, it is the slok of Mahaprabhu. Now I find all vacant, null and void, without Govinda. Eh? Sunna itam jagata sarvam gavinda virahe. Nayanam, Nayanam galado sudharaya, Badanam gadagad rudhaya gira, Pulakoir nichitam bapu, Kadatabunam gohone babishwati. Mahaprabhu speaking. Sunna itam jagad sarvam gavinda virahe. No, Krishna is not there, gavinda. I find all vacant, all empty, I find cannot see. I am blind. This is the condition. I told you, na, I can explain how Mahaprabhu wanted to get the test of this one by one sloka in his, in his practically in his life. Why after taking sannyas and renounce order, but before that long ago Mahaprabhu wrote Sikhastra. Mahaprabhu wrote Sikhastra long ago. But now, going to apply each each one one slok in one life and will express that's why Bhakti Vinodha was so clever, so wanted to relate one one sloka in Bhajan Rasa. One one sloka, one one kirtan, one one, one sloka from Bhagavatam, they to relate. Relate. Nishantalila. This way Bhakti Vinodha wanted to relate all in Bhajan Rasa. So, this is the way, so today I think I cannot uh, move anymore. So, Bigaro Bhavena Nome Biyogo, they, due to tremendous feeling of separation, even beautiful thing they cannot see. A very nice, a very nice lotus flower in the water. They find lotus flower giving lotus flower, you know, like snack. Biting me. Because all beautiful things, they are going to remember Krishna. That beautiful flower is going to bite like a poisonous snack. That beautiful fruit in the tree going to bite me. I can remember Krishna. Oh, Jamuna Riva, so nice. They cannot get any consolation in their life. All beautiful things. But, they find all raya. And one one fraction of second looks like yuga. Yuga. All yuga gone. Oh, Krishna not coming as yet. One fraction of second is equal to yuga. One fraction. Sunna itam jagatam. Nimesh, one one fraction of second is like yuga. With this material bend is really impossible to understand. Anyway, so I can explain tomorrow, today is night, time is over. So, what sloka I started with? What sloka I started with? Huh? Okay. Kantir abhyartha kalatam viraktir manasunnata asavandha samatkantha namagane sadaruchi asakti stad gunakshane priti stad basati stale itvadaya unubhavaha suryate ankurya jane. Juyam niloke bhatabhuri bhaga. 
जेषाम गिहाना मुनयो भी जानती जेषाम गृहाना बसती ति साक्षात गुरो परो ब्रह्म मनुष्य लिंगम वांछकल्पदुर्वस्य के पास सिंधु पति तानन पावन भो वैष्णव भ्यो नमः